In this video, I'll show how to use OBA, the online biogas app, to calculate BMP from manometric measurements of biogas production. We will need two data files to do this. In the first one, which I've called biogas, we have our measurements of biogas quantity. Here, it's headspace pressure. In each individual bottle that contains substrate and inoculum, or inoculum only. This bottle ID column is essential. It can be named anything, but it has to have a unique code for each bottle. And then we need incubation time and headspace pressure. Here, these first 12 or 11 rows have the initial pressure. After that, here we have pressure at the end of one day, headspace pressure before and then after venting. This column's optional, but it's nice to have if residual pressure varies significantly. And then in this file, we have biogas composition as well. And we're most interested in methane. Often, methane concentration is normalized, so that the sum of methane and CO2 is 100%. But we have additional data on biogas composition here, so we're going to use non-normalized values that are corrected for a little bit of air that got in at some point in the sampling process. Okay, so the second file we need, I've called it setup here, and it has the data that are necessary for grouping bottles. So we can see the ES1 and ES2 are both inoculum only bottles. This column that contains the unique bottle identification code has to have the same name as the column with the same code in our biogas file. So in addition to a description of what's in each bottle for grouping, we need to know how much substrate mass there is if we want to normalize by substrate mass. And here we're interested in BMP expressed per gram via so volatile solids. So that's how we're defining substrate mass. And then for the manometric me method, we need headspace volume as well. OK, so let's go to OBA. We're working with pressure data. These are interval measurements. The bottles are vented after each measurement interval. And we do have measured biogas temperature for each observation in our data file. This is absolute pressure. And we do have re uh, measured residual pressure. Our initial headspace pressure. Let's check the data file. We actually have a measurement for this. 101.2 at a temperature of 35. One hundred one point two kilopascals at a temperature of thirty-five. We do have a separate headspace volume for each bottle, but the values are all the same. One fifty-eight point nine milliliters. Let's double check that. Yes. And we do have a measured methane concentration. The concentrations are not normalized. Our data structure is combined. We have biogas quantity and composition as two columns in a single file. You can click this box here to take a look. And it looks like it was read in correctly. So we have 21 pages of data here. The bottle ID column is called bottle ID. Time column is incubation time. And our time units are hours. Temperature, biogas temperature, pressure, initial pressure, that is before venting, and then residual pressure. Composition, we'll use this corrected but not normalized value. And we see our results here. We can click here to enlarge the plot, and we see quite a bit of variation in the shape of these cumulative curves over time. We could look in our setup file to see what was in each bottle, but there's an easier way to look at the response on a substrate or a treatment basis. So we're going to summarize biogas production. We want to normalize by substrate mass. We want to subtract the inoculum contribution to methane production. 
for the time. This is the time at which we'll evaluate BMP. We're going to use the latest times for now. We don't need to extrapolate. Let's browse to this file and let's take a look. And to give you a bit more information on these data, this was an experiment on pretreatment, and we have three levels of some additive, two and a half milliliters, five milliliters, and ten milliliters, and then an untreated control, and of course our inoculum only bottles. So the columns we see here were are the ones in the setup file. Okay, so we don't need to skip any header rows. We need a description column. Bottle contents. VS mass, substrate VS mass is called substrate VS. And then inoculum quantity is inoculum. And finally, our inoculum only bottles are called inoculum. So here we have our results. The highest BMP is actually from the untreated control and it looks like the additive probably suppressed biogas production. We can see the numeric results as well. So for each of these conditions we have two bottles and this table gives the mean BMP and the standard deviation for each of these conditions. We can download these data as a CSV file by clicking here and we could also download the more detailed cumulative methane production results, the data that are not summarized, by clicking this link here. If we select all times say something different and I think useful. Here we have the mean response based on this description here shown as a point and lines for the standard deviation. And we can see very different responses over time depending on whether an additive was included. So the additives the additives seem to inhibit biogas production early on. And that was most noticeable for 10 milliliters of additive. But here, this purple line is the untreated, which had the highest rate early on. We might look at this and decide we want to look at an earlier time. So for example, we could say, let's see what the results show after 50 hours. In that case, we want a fixed time. We'll select 50 hours, and here we can ins we can see indeed there's a very large difference, relative difference between the untreated control and the three levels of the treated substrate. 10 milliliters of additive actually reduced methane production to a level that was lower than the inoculum only bottles. There are a couple different options. Um, a couple additional options for summarization time. We could use a relative option where OBA evaluates methane production rates and selects a time where production rate has dropped below 1% per day of cumulative values. In all of these cases, we can view the data with the view table button and download results as a CSV file.